Alrighty everybody, hi, my name is Confused Friend Online, and welcome to another video. Uh, this time we're doing a, another little indie game, it's called You're Just Imagining It. It is, um, according to the author, a vent video game of sorts about how, how much medical gaslighting they went through, um, which I thought... Fuck it. Let's expose my own journey through this. Because as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I had some surgery recently um, on my hand. And what a lot of people don't know is that it took me a little less than three, more than like somewhere between three and two years of convincing and fighting to get that surgery done and before that i was told that i was just being dramatic for four years before i was even diagnosed with my condition and it's i'm hoping that i can find a kindred spirit in this creator's game that being said our fragrance of the day is going to be the lovely candle from yankee candle called winter night stars Let's go ahead and light that one up. There we go. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> this warning, this game is not um, medical ver me for medical advice. It is also not very fun. NPC. Okay. Oh, you know, that's a very rare disorder. It's highly unlikely you have it. Your body is stressed. That's all. But I've had these issues for so long. Hmm? The symptoms match up. They're all common issues. Trust me. You're just imagining it. This is a chronic illness simulation game. You think you have a chronic illness, but you don't know what. All you know is you are always in some state of pain. You've been to too many doctors to count, but you still have to live your life. So here's your schedule. Do you want a tutorial? Yes, please. Your schedule is split into weekdays and weekends. Some options are available every day. Rest to relieve your pain and tiredness. Work to make money for medical and general expenses. On the weekends, you get special options. See the doctor for checkups and medicine. Play to de-stress and regain energy. The last options don't take any time. Check your meds to see what medication you are taking. And open the game menu with the message button. Manage your pain and energy levels along with your money. How long will it take for you to get a diagnosis? Good luck. God, I'll need it. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Spring. Ugh, my body hurts a lot today. My hands hurt just from moving them. I can't even hold a pen. Fuck, I've been there, done that. I should probably go to a doctor on the weekend, but... Will they even listen to me? Well, they'll probably give me something for the pain, at least. Some rests. Go to work. Check your meds. Open the menu. So it's Monday. There's a record. Not currently taking. Currently taking none. Um. Okay. So let's get some work done. Okay. 
pills. Good. Oh, 54. Let's see the doctor. Okay, time for a new doctor. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I know that something's wrong. Something's always been wrong. Every day, I wake up tired and in pain. That can't be normal, right? No matter what the doctor says. Last time was no good, but things will go okay this time. I just have to explain my symptoms better. The doctor can't help me if they don't understand. I need to try harder. Hello, what brings you here today? Muscle pain, I see. Where is it located? Mostly in the arms and hands. Hold them out for me. I'm not sure what the problem is. What work do you do? Computer work? That'll do it. The pain will continue as long as you use the computer. I'll prescribe you something for pain reduction. What? That's it? No more checkup? We'll start with this and see if it fixes things. I guess it's worth a try. Come back when you run out. I don't think that did much good. But this was just my first visit. Maybe it'll be better next time. afford to lose some happiness and also pain. Let's get some rest. Perfect. Topical NSAID for muscle pain. Monday, we're not going to be able to afford to get a doctor's appointment, so we have to work. Beds. Beds. Medicine ran out. Fuck. Okay, let's get in touch with the doctor. Guess I'll try again. Things never go right the first time anyway. Hello again. Let's see your file. Right. Arm and hand pain. How is it? So the medication is working. But I still wake up with pain. But you said the medication makes it hurt less. All I can do is help treat your pain. Your work is the underlying issue. Unless you want to try going off the medicine. Medicine is better than nothing. Since it seems to be working, I'll prescribe a month's worth. We'll see how it goes. This time wasn't any better. The doctor won't even listen to me. But what else can I do? Yeah, it's... It's hard doing that. They think if the pain is managed, then it's not a problem, but they're not- they're treating the symptom, not the- not the thing. Let's get some rest. That was a tough- that was tough. Get some rest. Okay. All right, let's get some work done. Okay, good, good, good. Oof. Let's have some fun. <laughs> And get that morale up. Alright, let's gain some money back. Okay. Perfect. 
The meds are definitely helping keep this mediated. But, oh, that's simulating bad pain days too. What the hell? Seven days, so I can do one more week. So let's sleep for the weekend. Try to recoup a bit. And let's work for the week. Then we get in contact with the doctor. Medicine right now. Alright. Time for checkup. Third time's the charm. Hardly ever is. Please. Hello. Let's see. Right. Hand pain. Back for more medicine then? I just want the pain to stop coming back. I already told you, your computer work is the problem. What else do you want me to do? You haven't even looked at my hands. The pain is because of your own actions. Oh, fuck you, dude. I hate doctors like this. What the hell are you supposed to do? Go on disability? And then get denied over and over again because you can organize fruit in the dark? It's not even an option because then you're bored out of your mind and everyone that experienced COVID, who is able-bodied, did work all the time, was so much able to like adapt, like, bored out of their mind. What do you think about people that have to do that full time on disability? You probably have too much anxiety too. You worry too much and then you feel like the pain is worse. You have to change your habits for it to get better. You never asked about my work habits though. Well, if you don't want something for your pain, I can't help you. That's all right then, right? If it gets worse, you can come back for more medication. I can't go to this doctor again. I just can't. Maybe they're right. Maybe there isn't actually anything wrong with me. Maybe it is my fault. I can't do this. Summer. Autumn, winter, spring. Huh? I can't feel my hands or feet. They're just kind of tingly and numb. That can't be normal, right? I'm used to the pain, but this... I should probably see a doctor. It's been a year since I last went, but... <sighs> I don't want to go. Let's, let's get that money up so we can at least afford to go to the doctor so often. Alright, let's get this ball rolling. Okay, let's try another doctor. Again. I mean, I personally went through like four widows. I went through five doctors before I got treatment. Before they even, like, tested anything. And then six doctors for it to actually get treated. Like, I... I'm feeling this. The last doctor just wasn't a good match. It can't go worse, right? Hi, what are you here for? Let's see... Tingling in the hands and feet. Okay. You're too young for it to be neuropathy. Too young? So, I'll prescribe you some vitamins. Vitamins? That's it? I can see from how thin you are that you aren't eating enough. You're undernourished. These vitamins will help. But, I'm really careful with what I eat. I'll prescribe two weeks worth. One tablet every day. Come back after that, and we'll see how you're doing. I don't think that did much good. But this was just my first visit. Maybe it'll be better next time. 
So what meds do we have? We have multivitamin, the child dose. It's meant to work. It's it's the fucking child dose too. Like what the hell? That's what's getting me. The child dose? Really? That's gonna do something for us? I'm guessing we're a full grown adult because we have work and not school, but <sighs> the child dose? Come on, that's only that's like the only time you give like child doses is if you give like a freaking baby aspirin to someone who has a clotting disorder and that ju that's not severe enough to need like freaking blood thinners or something. Not okay, onwards. Oh, we're still taking medicine, so we don't have to. Okay. Then it's the weekend, so we'll listen to some, uh, some, some music. And then we'll get it back. The pain levels. Oh. Doctor. Doctor. Guess I'll try again. Things never go right the first time anyway. What are you here for? Right. Let me check your file. Ah, vitamins. Ran out? I'll prescribe you more. They aren't doing anything. Well, if they aren't working, maybe you should eat better. What is your normal diet? Ah, that's the problem. Not enough protein. Are you, tr are you trying to diet? Is that why you're so thin? It's unhealthy. You should know better. But I'm not dieting. There, your prescription. Why are you still here? Payment is out front. This time wasn't any better. The doctor won't even listen to me. What else can I do? Let's try and get those pain levels down. for the weekend. Okay. How much meds do I have left? Days remaining five. Okay, so let's do work for the five days and then doctor. Too much pain to work. Fuck. times the charm? Please. Hi, what are you here for? All right, vitamins. I don't need more vitamins. Then why do you have tingling in your hands and feet? If I knew, I wouldn't be at the doctor. Why are you talking back to me? Even a primary school student knows to listen to their doctor. It's common sense. I just want you to listen, but do you want the vitamins or not? Looks like the doctor isn't coming back. I can't do go to this doctor again. I just can't. Maybe they're right. Maybe there isn't actually anything wrong with me. Maybe it is my fault. I can't do this. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Spring. What was that pain just now? It feels like my body's on fire under my skin. Nerve pain, maybe? I should look it up. Ugh. Even holding my phone hurts. But is there even any point in going to the doctor? Doctors aren't free, and the one I went to last year was useless. Maybe if I wait, the pain will go away? get some rest in. We have a hundred monies, so that should be enough to go to the doctor, hopefully, come weekend. Alright. 
let's go for it. Okay, let's try another doctor. Again. The last doctor just wasn't a good match. It can't go worse, right? Hi there. Let's see what the issue is. Nerve pain? Now that sounds rough. Let me take a look. Okay. This is a common problem with an easy fix. A simple outpatient surgery. Surgery when you haven't even told me what's wrong? You'll be in and out in a day. The recovery time isn't that long either. Only a few weeks, maybe months. You still haven't said why I need surgery. You don't want surgery? Well, I can prescribe something for the nerve pain. But it's only a temporary measure. You should research the surgery. I don't know what to do. None of the doctors I've been to have helped. Nobody takes my pain seriously. They just come to whatever conclusion is the most convenient. I don't want surgery when I don't even know what's wrong. Is there any point to this? I'll just take this medicine and hope it helps. Let's... I'm probably in too much distress to work, but... Can't go negatives, yay! Let's have some fun. And rest. Okay, Bill's medicine right now. Alright. What's even the point? The doctor won't listen anyway. I'll just... Stay at home. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Spring. I always feel tired lately. I just have to live with it, though. Let's get some rest in. If we can get a doctor to listen to at least the fatigue. I don't want to go. Just tell me it's my fault or something. I'll just try to sleep it off. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Spring. Ugh. Everything just kind of aches. But I still need to work. Here, sex. We have enough to make it. Get those bills paid. See the doctor. I'm not going. I can live with the pain. But I know that this is just... <sighs> this... If you're a chronic pain bitch like me, this hits. I feel awful, but that's nothing new. I'm not sure if it's the usual pain or if I'm actually sick. Ugh. Year seven. And then, we have enough to cover bills. We can afford to rest the week. Realistically, this would not be the case. Having a hundred there, that would have. My whole body hurts. I don't want to live like this anymore. Maybe I'll give the doctor one more chance. I really don't want to go, but I can't deal with this anymore. If this doctor can't help me, I don't know what else I can do. Hello. What are 
you here for today? Hmm, general pain. I bet this doctor won't listen either. Hmm, I'll be too young or too stressed or too normal. Hmm, why did I even come? But have you ever been tested for OOO? Did you just say? I understand you must be surprised. OOO is rather uncommon, but you seem to have many of the signs. But no other doctor ever mentioned it. If you have time today, we could do a few tests. It would take a few hours, but we'd have the results for you today. You're gonna do tests? Of course, that's only if you want to. But if your system symptoms are chronic, this could be the cause. It's all the pain and tiredness I always feel. I can't say for certain. But from the symptoms you mentioned and what I see now... You're not imagining it. Finally. Time it took to get a diagnosis. Seven years. Number of doctors it took. Too many. The end. Yeah, that... That fucking hit. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker me. God. That... Wasn't necessarily a profound game, but for those who don't go through the stuff that us folk with com chronic pain do, it's. I can imagine that it'd be really eye opening for you. It's a rough game. I'm gonna be reflecting on this for the rest of the night. I'm going to have an existential crisis now. God, that is nuts. Well, I'd say I hope you had as much fun as I did, but at the beginning they stated that this wasn't going to be fun. And they were correct. So the cat octopus guy... Damn. Well, in any case, I hope you found what you were looking for in watching this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, maybe a comment. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, not all of it is this somber. I just want to try something a little different. Um, a lot of the stuff I do is horror though, so be prepared for that. If you'd like to jump into that, just feel free to give me a little subscribe and maybe a little bell icon to ring a ding. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can hop in the description of this video, and I have a link to my Patreon. And if you want to play this game for yourself, it's also down there. In any case, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya! I'd like to thank everybody for joining me for today's gaming sesh. I love video games, and I love sharing that passion with others even more. None of this YouTube stuff would be possible without you guys. Though we are small in numbers, I figured I'd offer you more ways to support the channel other than just subscribing to my YouTube. My solution? Subscribe to my Patreon. This will help me buy games to expand the scope of entertainment for you to consume here on my channel. It will also help me pay my lovely editor, Chris. The button to sub on my channel is down below, and then below that, in the description, is the link to sub to my Patreon. I hope to meet you there. See ya!